I saw Thor The Dark World, the second movie in Marvel's Phase 2. Um, we return to Asgard to find Thor, um, kind of just dealing with the fallout of the Avengers. He still misses Jane Foster. He's found his role in Asgard. Like, in the beginning, he was really cocky and arrogant and not really caring and pretty selfish. And ever since then, we've kind of just seen him, like, develop into, like, this better person. Like, at this point, he's there now. Like, he's fighting for the different realms. Like, he's trying to restore order and just help everyone. And um, the way this plot actually starts moving forward is because of his love interest, uh, Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman. She finds a thing, this ancient thing, and that just triggers a series of events. Next thing you know, this ancient evil rises, and this is a sequel. You, you've seen this plot before, ancient evil returns, and it's, it's cliche. There are some things in the movie that you've definitely seen before, but it works. And um, I'll move on to the acting. Um, Everyone fits into their roles now, like Krim Hemsworth, he's Thor, Anthony Hopkins is good as Odin, uh, Natalie Portman's character, Jane Foster, is more, she's more rounded, has more of a personality, you can kind of see why, what Thor likes about her. And of course you have Tom Hiddleston returning as Loki, he's still as fun as ever, just hamming it up, and you feel like the act, he's more aware of, like, I guess, the way audiences view Loki now, so he's kind of just playing it and having even more fun with it now, and it, it's nice to see. Uh, uh, Stellan Stasgard, um, this, his character lost his mind, like, they, they are just having him do some just goofy, senile, all th old things. Um, Rene Russo is the queen, uh, Odin's wife in the movie, like, she, she has a really cool moment. Um, Kat Dennings was more hit and miss for me in this time around. Um, if, if you did not like the comedic aspects of uh, Thor, the uh, first Thor, this one's probably going to piss you off a bit more because I guess it does lean a little heavier on the goofy side, but I found I found half of it funny. Like, if I didn't laugh out loud, I at least chuckled or just kind of just went like, eh. So what you're getting with this is really just like another solid Marvel movie. Uh, you have some sweet action scenes. Um, there's one in particular that ripped off Star Wars, but I mean, it's not like, oh, come on, they ripped off Star Wars. It's like, yeah, they ripped off Star Wars, but this is really cool. Um, you'll, you'll know the scene when you see it. Um, hand to hand battles, or hammer to hand battles, they're still fun. And it's, it's just, these movies like this and Iron Man 3, like, they're these solid four out of five action movies. You like the characters, um, the action's fun, the plot's a mess, but you're still able to get it for the most part, even though there are a couple things where you're kind of just like, eh, I'm not sure about that, but it's, it's something you notice, but it's not it's not anything that's gonna really bother you. And to be honest, like this this movie is really just solid. Like uh, if you've if you've liked these past Marvel movies, I would say definitely go see Thor: The Dark World. Um, my only criticism is really the Dark World itself and the villain. It's like once they get there, it's I, I just feel like something was missing. Like nothing was just done really involving the Dark World. And, like, the Dark Elves as villains, like, I mean, they, they're, impo they're an opposing threat, and they put down a fight, but, like, the leader, Malachi, I, if I'm saying his name right, just, he doesn't have a personality. He has a goal, but not a personality, and that kind of just made it more of a, you, you just wanted more from that whole aspect of the movie, but at least in the final fight, they all threw down, and that whole thing was just, like, um, that, that was like a, it was kind of just jumper. Like, the climax of this movie is jumper. It's silly, but it, it's fun. And they're doing all these cool things with gravity that I thought were cool. And that, and I, I, I it, it gets the um, anti-gravity seal of approval for me. So, um, that is my review of Thor of the Dark World.